Senator Shane. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this hearing. As, um, and thank you to our witnesses for your testimony this morning. As you can tell, this is an issue that is very personal for everyone on this committee because we see, Administrator Milgram, you talked about the faces of those killed by fentanyl. We see that in our home states um, every day. In New Hampshire's largest city of Manchester since the beginning of February, we have 10 overdose deaths from fentanyl. Um, and what we, what we are seeing now is an increasing number of cases um, related to xylazine, which is an animal tranquilizer that um, is being cut into drugs, including fentanyl. And unlike um, opioids, there is no um, reverse agent like Narcan to reverse those overdoses. So can you tell me, Administrator Milgram, does the DEA have a position on scheduling um, drugs like xylazine that are used for legitimate medical purposes but that are being um, used illicitly? Um, and what is your position on that? Senator, thank you so much for that question. We are tracking xylazine across the United States, and there is no question that it is an increasing threat. We are seeing it cut into fentanyl powder in almost every state in the country at this moment in time. And what we see is that fentanyl, which is the deadliest drug we've ever seen in the United States, it's now being made deadlier by xylazine being combined with it. We asked HHS about 15 months ago to begin the process of scheduling xylazine. I would defer to them on the timing of, of that scheduling, but what I can tell you is we are looking. Did you, excuse me, yes. interrupting, 18 months ago, did Fif you say? 15 months ago, we sent a request to HHS to schedule. We then, last fall, sent a follow-up request with additional information of what we were seeing. At this moment, my belief is that we have to do everything we can internally at DEA to stop this threat from happening, and my commitment to you is we'll do everything we can to stop it. Um, well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I would argue that this committee may want to take a position on that um, with the FDA and HHS to schedule this when it's being used illicitly. 